Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're going to be talking about adding a reverse chine to your boat and this here is just a stick on foam and it's not really thick and it's not big but it's enough to add just that little bit of reverse chine stability to this boat. Uh, this is actually quite a good boat, it's quite wide and quite beamy and uh, it's got a decent size to it but when you've got a few passengers on board depending on who's standing on which side it does tend to pitch and roll and lean and uh, in seas which are a little bit rough it tends to do that a lot as well so in order to stabilize it a little bit um, we're adding on these stick on reverse chines you can get these from pretty much anywhere you can get them from Bunnings or Clark rubber or any foam sales um, they're really just a stick on foam as what you see there it's not huge and it's not going to make a massive difference but just enough to give you that little bit more stability at rest so the way that you do it is you just lower it line it up with the bottom of the hull ridge here and it does have a little bit of a chine as you can see there just a little bit um, so we're just going to team it up with the edge there just so that it adds that little bit more stability at rest so that when you're going from side to side and passengers are moving from one side of the boat to the other that this gives it that little bit more stability at rest and it also actually gives it more stability at speed as well so you'll find that the boat will sit flatter at speed we have installed trim tabs onto this and this reverse chine is just that little bit more addition for stability so you basically install that all the way up the hull as far as you can go up to the bridge at the front and then you merge it up at the V at the front. You really want to install it the whole way, you don't want to just do a section because otherwise as you're turning and you get green water over the top of the chine it'll actually pull the boat hull down into the water so you really want to have this chine go all the way up, all the way up to the front of the hull, uh, up to the bow and where it peaks at the pitch. And uh, these foams are replaceable sort of thing, so if after a couple of years that they get damaged and stuff, you just pull them off and replace them. You don't have to drill any holes, you don't have to do anything um, that's going to de detract from the integrity of the hull. And uh, these are an easy solution. Uh, as mentioned, they're not going to give you a huge difference in stability, but just enough to make that little bit of difference, make a little bit more stable at rest. If you wanted to, you could add two or three on top of this foam layer so you could actually space it out even a bit more. These ones here are 50 mil wide which is two inch and they're about half an inch in thickness um, so you could double that up so you could actually make it um, you know a whole inch in thickness or you could add another one on the top here so you could make it you know four inch in width or you could even add it underneath you know depending on the shape of your hull and where it needs that stability you're wanting to create some flare out the side in order to give you that chine so that when the boat hull pulls, tries to pull underwater, that this is going to keep it stabilised just that little bit. Uh, we've already tried these reverse chines on this boat and another boat and it does make a lot of difference. Um, not huge but just enough to give you that little bit more stability at rest and that little bit more straight line driving when you're cruising on the water. Anyway, if you like this idea, uh, just click the thumbs up and the subscribe button. Uh, help us out to keep making informative and helpful videos like this. Hope you can uh, apply this to your boat and it helps you out with uh, your boat out with stability and stuff. Thanks so much for watching the video. Click like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one.